Hey man, you're a team member here on Pause to Care For, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the best dry dog food for your furry little companion. We've already gone over the cat food, so there's a link to that video in the description, and a link right up there, <laughs> or over there. I don't know. Well, it's one of those two sides. So yeah, like I said, we'll be talking about the dry kibble, not any wet food or any treats in, the, in this video, Dr just only dry dry kibble some basic things that we're that we want to avoid are cornmeal uh, which is a filler and chicken byproduct meal uh, pretty much any by byproduct meal uh, cat byproduct pork pro byproduct chicken duck all of the byproducts we will want to avoid just like the cat video this is not based on pricing just quality and we're, we'll be listing the first two ingredients because those are the most important. The other ingredients are, are also important, but the first two gives you a good understanding if it's a good, healthy one, or if it's a, a uh, fatty, high uh, ca calorie count kibble for your dog. And, and another thing before we get into these brands and uh, specific bags of the kibble, we will be talking about adult kibble not puppy kibble most of these foods are going to be found in uh, pet pet supply stores pet food stores uh, not not Walmart uh, Walmart or the other big box stores that you might have are going to carry the the cheaper uh, uh, more more fatty food so if you really want to get your your little furry buddy some good some good stuff you're gonna have to go into some pet uh, food or pet supply stores to get that this is not a list from worst to best or in any particular order. This is just the research we've done and we didn't rank them at all. So don't think the, the one I'm about to start with is the best one. It's just the first one we came upon <laughs> in doing our research. Uh, and some of these brands and some of these specific recipes might be smaller and harder to find than the other ones so we're going to be listing a bunch of them so that way it gives you the best possible option when you buy your next uh, bag of kibble without further ado the first one is taste of the wild ancient prairie the first two ingredients are buffalo and pork and as you see there's no fillers or by by, by products and like I said the first two ingredients tells you if it's a good healthy one or a high f fatty uh, a high fatty kibble uh, so with this first one done let's move on to the next one which is wellness complete health dry dog food oh uh, the first two ingredients for the wellness complete is deboned chicken and chicken meal uh, chicken meal is not chicken byproduct it is something different we have, then we have the Diamond Natural Dry Dog Food. First two ingredients are lamb meal and ground white rice. Hunnenflagen, uh, the first two ingredients are lamb and brown rice. This one is a, uh, the Hunnenflagen is a, not, it, it, the hun, the Hunnenflagen is not that common, so if you wanna get it for the, for the name, uh, it might be a little bit hard to find. Then we have Instinct Original Grain-Free Dry Dog Food. Uh, First two ingredients are chicken and chicken meal. Then we have Nature Logic dry dog food with chicken meal and millet. Okay, and then another taste of the wild dry dog food. Now, like I said, these are specific bags, not the brands because each recipe contains different stuff. So this one contains buffalo and lamb meal. Then we have blue buffalo life protection dry. Um, weird way to end it but okay with the first two ingredients being deboned chicken and chicken meal then we have Purina pro plan focused dog food with the first two ingredients are chicken and brewer's rice origin dried dog food uh, with deboned chicken and deboned turkey they're spicing it up on us two different types of meat right <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna redo that. Take origin dry dog food with deboned chicken and deboned turkey. They got all the flying feathers in there. Uh, neither deep, neither chicken or turkey fly. We have Diamond Naturals dry kibble with chicken meal and chicken. 
Nulu freestyle dry dog food. Oh, the fir first two ingredients being deboned turkey and turkey meal. Neutral ultra. <laughs> Ultra. Neutro Ultra Dried Dog Food. The first two ingredients being chicken and chicken meal. And we have Go Carnivore Dry Dog Food uh, with chicken meal and turkey meal. Eagle Pack Dry Dog Food with with first two ingredients being chicken meal and pork meal. Wellness Wellness Core Dry Dog Food with the first two ingredients being deboned turkey and turkey meal. Whole Earth Farms Dry Dog Food with the first two ingredients being chicken meal and turkey meal. So, when you're at a big box store like PetSmart or Petco and you're shopping around for your dog, this is something uh, that it's going to look like this when you're wanting to get a uh, kibble. So, a lot of people get pedigree for their dogs, which you can see there's a lot of pedigree but what is actually in it so and then there's chicken byproduct meal which is a filler you want to avoid because it's cheap um which let's see let's look at the price so that's the price of that small bag but then if you look at the bigger bags it is 27 dollars for 50 pounds which is a lot of pounds for that much food which is why people get it all the time because it's affordable but is it the best quality no probably not okay so now we have beneful i see this a lot actually it sounds familiar so that's why i know so here are the ingredients beef whole grain corn barley rice see this looks like a very good brand like based a, on the like ingredients. a like a medium level like yeah the you got the cheap, you got the medium. So this is this price is actually really reasonable for the good quality ingredients that you're getting. So um, yeah, Beneful seems to be a good brand if even if you're on a budget. So well, hold on, I'm gonna step in. So it's uh, here. It's uh, Purina's brand recipe ben Beneful. So there's gonna be other like. Uh, Karina is the brand, Puppy Chow is the recipe they're using, or Beneful Protein Rich. It's all the same brand, but the the recipe is different. Like, and, then, and then there's the Dog Chow stuff as well. So, Nature's Recipe for Dogs, small breed of course, but uh, chicken, chicken meal, um, which is not the byproduct meal. There's this right here. Okay, so science diet for dogs, pet nutrition. Okay, so chicken meal. This is very similar to what the cats were, and if you're confused about that, we do have a video about that for cat food. Um, so these are all really good ingredients to have for dogs, which is why science diet is so expensive. And then see, there's a Karina Pro plan, which I, I saw that over on the cats, but there was someone in the aisle who didn't get to go over. So ingredients, let's see here. Oh, right there. So there's, that's in another language. <laughs> Oops. Okay, beef, rice, whole green, whole green wheat, corn gluten meal. Yes, you do want to avoid that, but um, it still has pretty good ingredients. Uh, blue buffalo. Okay, so let's do senior dogs. Um, I'm sure the ingredients doesn't make that much of a difference either way. So ingredients, um, deboned beef, fish, fish meal, peas, tapioca starch, and then you can rate the rest if you're interested. But, uh, yeah, that's why it's so important to read the first two ingredients because um, it tells you a lot about the brand and obviously the price does tell you a lot about the brand too because yeah. you're paying for quality and then another thing there's like different like quality levels of the burrito or the blue buffalo stuff i do not cover authority i don't know what this is i'm guessing it has some something to do because it says specialized nutrition so So deboned chicken, chicken meal, brown rice, corn. Yeah, see, it looks like all really good ingredients. And obviously it's gonna be because it's quite expensive for such a small bag, 14 bucks. 
I mean, expensive if you're on our sort of budget. I don't know what type of budget you are on, but it's it's kind of expensive for us because we have four cats and we have a lot of little mouths to feed. So I guess it does depend on how many animals you have and the situation that you're in. So, um, but in our situation, it's it's kind of expensive. Yeah, because it'd be. For us, we buy the 18 pound, we'll want to be $35 for 18 pounds. Okay, so Rachel Ray um, is also in a lot of scandals. So let's just cover um, the ingredients anyway. Chicken, chicken meal, soybean meal. I don't know what that is, but dried peas, chicken fat, right? These seems like really good ingredients. But uh, the reason I, I advise to not get uh, dog or cat food that are in scandals is because they're in scandals for a reason. Uh, Rachel Ray's dog food is said to have um, made dogs pass away for unknown reasons. Uh, I'm sure there's more research about that, but I did not include that because that's not the type of video that we're covering. We're covering good quality dog food, and uh, I just won't recommend this just because of the scandals that I see, uh, including I am's because that's the same situation. So, um, I mean, you can get it, I'm not going to restrict you from getting it, but do it at your own risk and do, do your own research. So. Okay, so, wow, this is specialized, and it's very expensive, so... If you're doing specialized stuff, I guess this might be the stuff to get. Boxer yeah. chow, up to 15 months old. And then there's Labrador, Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever. Yeah, so the ingredients uh, in a different language. Okay, maybe... Go back to that. Yeah, maybe I was... Ah, okay, chicken byproduct meal is the first one, which is not the best sign, especially for how expensive these are, um, and how specialized it is for the type of dog, which, uh, yeah, I don't recommend this brand just because if you want good quality food, especially if you're paying that price, you're willing to get good quality food, so just because it's specialized doesn't mean anything. So that's pretty much... Uh, what you would see at a Pet Mart or Petco, or sometimes Walmart, it does depend on your location. So, yeah, uh, those are a lot of the good quality dog food brands and how you can read the ingredients so that way you can tell what good quality pet food that you would be interested in getting, and including the price, so keep that in mind too. Uh, excluding royal canine apparently that's not a good example so uh yeah we'll, we'll uh, go to the next location so uh another place that you can go to would would be a pet supplies company um which we go to pet supplies plus for our cat food and litter um so let's go take a look inside and see what we can find for a non-big box company. A lot of these brands you'll find at the box stores, like the Pedigree, the Iams, uh, Purina One Plus, uh, Purina, um, a brand that we don't see. So this is Puppy. And ingredients, chicken meal, chicken, pearl barley, oatmeal, See, this is a good brand, and it's a brand that you don't see at the big box stores, which is from. <laughs> so for this place, we're going to be doing a lot of brands that you don't necessarily see at big box stores. So here's this one. It's called Origin, just original uh, recipe. Okay, deboned chicken, deboned tur turkey, uh, all really good ingredients. And it's a brand that you don't see very often. So, and also take into consideration the price, right? So here's Stella and Chewy's. Um, here's the ingredient. Ah, so lamb, lamb meal, peas, lentils, chickpeas, right? All good ingredients so far. So that would be a good brand to get. Going for Nutrisource, grain-free ingredients. 
chicken, chicken meal, peas, pea flour, right? All good ingredients. Now we have That's in a different language. Wait, no. Beef, mensal, peas, sweet potato, chicken fat, right? These are all really good ingredients to see. You want to avoid the chicken byproduct here. Yeah. And obviously we're not seeing that. So now we have unrefined roasted rabbit. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just go over the ingredients. Okay, so we have rabbit, quinoa, butternut squash, buckwheat, dried eggs, really good ingredients. So now I have tasted a lot. This is something we did include in the video that I remember. So let's go over ingredients. Uh, venison, lamb meal, garbanzo bean, peas, like things you can read that aren't big words in the first like five ingredients usually tell you it's a good brand and doesn't have a lot of like preservatives I guess you can say. So um, a very good brand to actually consider. So um, that's it for the Pet Supplies Company. If you have one in your area, I would totally recommend checking it out because there are brands that you're missing out on if you're going to the big box stores. So, uh, so if you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below. If you have any ideas, leave those in the comment section below. Uh, if you think I could improve in any way, leave, the, leave that in the comment section below. Uh, please be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. Love ya.